What is up guys, this is Syphic coming back at you once again with a post Vegas pickups video and uh, also a CGE 2K14 update as well. Uh, first let's start off with uh, some pretty cool pickups and trades that I did over the weekend. Uh, did uh, go out to Vegas, hung out with a bunch of guys. Want to thank, uh, you know, Sean, uh, Gabriel, uh, William, Jose, uh, Evan Berman, and if I forgot anybody else, there was a bunch of us rolled up down there, went game hunting, you know, boozed it up, um, it was a riot, it was, you know, we took consoles, William took his PVM, his Neo Geo, his Turbo Duo, and, you know, like I said, we just boozed it up like big boys, and uh, had drinks, and uh, none of that cupcake bullshit, um, you know, like I said, uh, big boy gaming and big boy playing, and uh, we also did some uh, game hunting as well while we were down there. Um, I didn't find much. Um, it was kind of like a reality check, actually. We hit up a bunch of game stores. I don't really go to too many game stores because I don't really like to pay retail for anything. And um, just the stuff was just way overpriced. We went to one place that just had some amazing stuff. You know, boxed, you know, boxed tons of NES stuff, rare stuff, crazy. But just the prices were just so insane. You know, we just, I just, you know, I ended up just buying like one item and I'll get to that in a bit. But, um, another thing I noticed too is a lot of places will have stuff priced, then you'll take it up to the counter and then they'll look it up again to see if it's like fluctuated. It made like no sense, it's, like totally sucked. So if you found something that was 10 bucks and you took it to the counter and if the guy kind of like looked at it kind of weird, like, you know, he might have seen that it's gone up, he would look it up again and if it did, he would like raise the price on you. Just made no sense at all, so I totally didn't really dig that. So the only thing I picked up in Vegas was a, a Tenacoy Bank, uh, which is a memory card for the PC Engine. Uh, PC Engine and Turbo Graphics don't have built-in memory, um, so basically you need these little memory banks to save all your games, unless you have a Duo. And even the Duos, the memory, I mean, it's just very limited. I mean, one game could take it all up, so that kind of sucks. But So I picked up a Tenacoy Bank. It was only 10 bucks. Uh, going right on these is about 10 to 15, but uh, to find it in the wild, well, not in the wild, but a game store here in America is kind of cool. So, and surprisingly, there was a lot of PC Engine stuff in um, in Vegas, but uh, nothing I'd really, really, really needed or was looking for. Uh, the rest of the stuff was basically trades that I did. I uh, did a couple of really nice trades. I did a trade with my friend Gabriel, and I was able to get uh, Samurai Showdown 2 for the Neo Geo Pocket. And also a copy of uh, Parasol Stars. I have a uh, manual for one, a loose manual, so now I can pair it up and um, uh, now I can have a complete one. So that's kind of neat. So thank you, Gabriel. Definitely watch his channel, link below, if you want to see what he picked up. I think he already posted what he scored off of us. I uh, did a trade with my friend David, uh, David Kim, also Shaq Funaki, channel also below. Uh, check his channel out to see if he posts what he uh, uh, got for me. But what I got from him was a copy of uh, Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo. And believe it or not, I do not... They didn't have this. Um, I'm kind of, uh, like I said, uh, barely starting up my uh, Super Nintendo collection. So I had to get that. So I'll start off with that one. Work my way up to the other harder and rarer ones. And also for the NES, since I've been trying to you know bump that up as well, uh, I got Dragon Warrior 4. Um, and both both items are in actually really really nice shape. I'm very very happy to do the trade with him And like I said, uh, hopefully he'll post a video and uh, show you guys what he got So that was really really cool and the third trade was a big boy trade uh, So the guys came over here uh, the night before Vegas and uh, they brought a box of stuff Kevin Air Force Shields link below uh, awesome guy to trade with if you guys ever want to do a trade trade with Kevin he has tons of great stuff and he you know, he knows how to trade, you know, he's he's not all about just value for value, you know. A lot of the stuff we find, you know, we've got it for chump change, and, you know, like I said, if you could hook up a bro, you know, you know, the value doesn't have to always match up, so just, like I said, we're playing with virtual money here, so. But uh, I had some stuff he wanted, and that I needed to move, and uh, so he kind of helped me out, I don't, you know, I don't have to eBay it and ship it and, you know, some stuff, so check his channel out, hopefully he'll post what he got from me. But uh, let's go through the stuff that I got from him from this uh, pretty nice trade. So I was able to pick up UN Squadron. Uh, I've actually never played this, and I hear everyone talking about this being one of the better shooters on the Super Nintendo. Um, so I'm very excited to have this in the collection, so I can go ahead and try that out finally. And um, got a copy of another game that I've never played either, and that is uh, Act Razor. Uh, so that was kind of cool. These were doubles for him, so he uh, you know put up, threw them in the trade. 
And let's see what else here. We also got uh, Batman Returns for the Super Nintendo. Uh, so I can't wait to try that as, out as well. And we got a couple of Jaguar games. Uh, we got uh, Pitfall, uh, the Mayan Adventure. Been wanting to try this out. Kind of cool. So uh, that was pretty cool to get that in that trade. And I got a really, really minty. I mean, this is like super mint. Uh, comes with manual. Everything is complete. The um, the inlays for the controller. And that is Alien vs. Predator. Um, so that was very, very cool. He was able to get this actually for a really good deal. And it was a double for him. Um, and I wanted it. So uh, I got it. So that was very, very awesome of him to kick down with that. And it was actually pretty funny because he actually had a black backpack full of stuff. And we kept on calling it the Black Mystery Magic Bag because he just kept on pulling stuff out. Um, and, you know, you know, but eventually we, the trade felt even and, and it felt cool and I was pretty happy with what I got. Um, and, um, but there was some other stuff that he did have in the bag that I found out later that I kind of wanted to, but we'll work out in the trade, uh, later, Kevin. Um, and, uh, the two best items that I scored from this trade are actually some pretty amazing trades, actually. Um, the first one is going to be, uh, I got a copy of, uh, Pocky and Rocky 2. I already have Pocky and Rocky 1, so it's nice to pair it up with the second, uh, uh um, you know, copy of, uh, Pocky and Rocky 2. Well, Pocky and Rocky 1 and Pocky and Rocky 2. Um, and it's like in mint condition. I think this was a double for him as well. And he uh, pulled this out of the bag and I had to have it. So that was super awesome. So glad to have the uh, the pair, Pocky and Rocky 1 and 2. And a game that actually I had seen in his uh, gaming, uh, one of his videos, he actually had this game in the background and I was like, ooh, I would love to have that. It's pretty nice. Uh, and that is the uh, Sega Saturn. And it's an import title. It's Dungeons and Dragons Collection. Uh, which is uh, in mint condition, and I believe this was an, also a duplicate for him. Um, and uh, very, very awesome. I think we did a really, really nice trade. I think he got some really, really good stuff as well. Um, like I said, it didn't have to be value for value, but I was pretty happy with what I got, and I think he was pretty happy with what he got. And hopefully we'll be doing some more trades um, with Kevin, and hopefully they'll come down again. It was a blast. We stood up to like 2.30 in the morning just talking about games and just making trades and it was just crazy and then the next morning we had to wake up early and uh, head down to Vegas and that was pretty crazy as well um, and the reason one of the reasons why we went to Vegas was because we didn't think there was going to be a classic gaming expo we had such a blast the last time and we've just been waiting and waiting and waiting and we finally caught wind that the classic gaming expo for 2014 is going to happen guys it's going to happen it's going to be September 12th through September 14th, that's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's going to be three days. It's going to be back at the Riviera Hotel. Um, check out the website. That's uh, cgexpo.com for more details. Um, like I said, so it's confirmed. It's going to be at the Riviera, um, the 12th, 13th, and 14th, and we're all going to be there. We were all planning to go to Oregon for Portland, but we're ditching Portland. We're going to Vegas. I mean, um, you just got to gotta go to Vegas for a gaming convention. I mean... Besides, you know, you know, going to the convention itself and seeing all the cool games and, and, and you know, the uh, panels and all that. It's just here in Vegas. You can party, you can hang out. I mean, you can be up till 2 in the morning. And like I said, none of that cupcake bullshit. Uh, you know, big boy hangout. We're all going to plan to go. We're going to roll deeper this time. Uh, true hardcore gamers. We're going to take consoles. We're going to take, you know, we're going to maybe try to get uh, rooms connected and maybe a, maybe a suite. We're still talking about it. Um, so if you guys are interested and want to hang out and, you know, hang out with some real, uh, non holly tubers and, and actual gamers and, and bros and have some brew, uh, some brews and, and, and like I said, um, hit us up. Uh, like I said, it's uh, quite a few months away, um, but it's never too soon to plan. Uh, definitely if you guys want to attend, it's going to be, like I said, in Las Vegas, Classic Gaming Expo 2K14 at the Riviera Hotel. Um, they're going to be, uh, announcing like rooms and all that and, and, and some deals. So definitely book your rooms at the Riviera because it does help the convention out. It's being now thrown by the uh, um, Retro Roundup, uh, which is uh, the guys that do the um, uh, Retro Roundtable, I believe is, is what it is. Um, and uh, they're still going to do the um, the museum and all that. It's just uh, some new guys are going to do it and they have experience doing it. So it's going to be fun. Uh, so um, like I said, we're going to be there. And yeah, so um, like I said, hit me up if you guys want to meet up and uh, we're going to be planning some crazy stuff. So uh, until next time, guys, this is Scific once again signing out. And uh, if I don't post any more videos, I'll see you guys at uh, CG2K14. Take care, guys. Lates.